Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol FLDM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time, Franklin does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then just makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Today, you got to get, now, of course, it was a rough overall day, but you got to give the bulls some credit because when you stop and think about the fact that at one point, the price was all the way down there during that first 30 minutes, and then the price actually managed to work its way back up there. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's still a whole lot of work that needs to be done, but you got to give credit where credit's due, a very nice bounce on the bulls part. So that does lead into the question now of, all right, yeah, the price is bounced. But is this the start of something bigger or is this just one of these, you know, knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type moves? And I have no idea. But by using charts, we can make mapping that question out very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around this area down here at $7.50. Why is $7.50 important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, well, the price is going to progress forward, right? The price is not going to go back to where it was. That'd be a total contradiction. So with that in mind, think about $7.50. If the price were to come down here and then just keep on going, from a literal perspective, what is that doing to the price? That's literally putting the price right back into that range where it was when it was flirting with those lows. And again, going back, not a sign of true power, or true strength. Whereas let's say the price went down here and then behaved like this and then went up in this situation. So what do you have here? Well, now all of a sudden you have lows there, you have that low down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have some stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And that's what a true bounce is gonna do, right? A, a genuine bounce is gonna keep on, well, bouncing, or in other words, making progress forward. And again, progress forward being defined at this point as $7.50. First level of resistance, nothing fancy other than just kind of where the bounce finally ran out of steam today. And that's right up there at 825. And then after that, it's basically a, a little miniature blue sky breakout because the next level of resistance, not until the highs from there. Now, I'm not saying that if 825 is broken, you know, within two seconds, it's going up to 985. The point here being that from the technical point of view, there just aren't, you know, aren't any other areas of resistance up around that area. So the potential is there for definitely this to get a, a bigger type bounce if the bulls can uh, start to chip away with those higher lows. So overall rough day, yeah, sure. But the price did flex its muscles in the sense of the bounce. So let's see if the bulls can build upon this bounce or not next week. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.